In this video, I'll introduce the types of objects used in a software called Rhino, making it super easy to understand. Ta-da! Here, I've gathered the different objects used in Rhino. In Rhino, there are mainly these five basic types. Point, curve, surface, and then solid, mesh, and SUBD. Seems like a lot. Don't worry. It's easy if we look at them one by one slowly, so relax. First up is point. That's just a dot. You might already know this one from other CAD software. This point holds crucial information about its position in length, width, and depth. Next is curve. This is basically a line. An interesting thing about Rhino is that it calls both straight lines and curved lines curves. So if someone says, select a curve, just think, I need to pick a line. Now pay attention. When you select this line, it says, open curve. Open means the ends aren't connected, so you can't measure the enclosed area. But if you pick this square here, it says closed curve. This means all the ends of the line connect fully, allowing you to measure an area. Then what about this seemingly identical square next to it? Huh? This one says open curve. Look closely. Ah, there's a tiny gap here. That's why it's not a proper square and you can't measure its area. If you're creating something and think, why can't I measure the area? There might be a tiny hole like this somewhere. If you keep making shapes without noticing these tiny holes, you'll run into serious trouble later. So, if you find a hole, close it right away. You might wonder, but how do I spot such tiny holes? Don't worry, there's a handy tool for that. If you use the command show ends, look, it highlights the loose ends of the line in purple, saying right here. Super convenient, right? <laughs> 